I'm Dr. Carla Lamb. I'm from the Leahy Hospital Medical Center in Burlington, Mass. I'm one of the course co-directors today for our EBIS and basic bronchoscopy simulation course. And as a faculty member, I'm very excited for students to be participating more and more with a flipped classroom model. And that's probably one of the biggest highlights of the CHEST conferences and the educational courses in the Sim Center is that all participants are getting exposed to the most evidence-based, most current information, but they're applying it in real time in the flipped classroom model. And I think that makes us very unique because each participant has ample time on hands-on materials so that they actually can implement some of the practice changes with the procedures, but this is a very procedure-based course. So not only are they integrating the data and the cognitive skills it takes to decide on patient selection, but they're also able to do the hands-on particulars so they actually can take these practices home and implement them in their own practice and, and hopefully enhance patient safety, process improvement, things like that. The big difference, I think, from last year to this year is that we first further flip the classroom. So there's very little time spent in didactics. We do online curriculum. They have the offering of that several weeks before they attend the course they've already reviewed. We highlight from that online curriculum in real time the key points and the evidence-based practices and then they move right into the hands-on workshops with integral rotations and all things that involve EBIS from the anatomy of the tool itself, the anatomy of the bronchoscope, the anatomy of the mediastinum and then implement that in real-time case scenarios so they come home with really practical applications and uses of the technology. So the flipped classroom is much more enhanced, there's much more time spent in the laboratory setting and less time sitting in a classroom mode.